Good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. We are in a creative mixed media art journal, a traveler's notebook size, following the words and wisdom of Mark Twain in his book, Following the Equator. Sit down, enjoy, and let's see where we go. Good morning. I told you that... Um, just lost my train of thought. Oh, this chapter dealt a lot with um, the Aborigine people and a lot of politically incorrect things <laughs> were said. So I have read a little bit about their art. And I happen to be a big fan of their fabric, which is like their art shapes and lots of polka dots turning into things. So I have decided to paint polka dots. Well, I'm going to paint some backgrounds and then paint, draw polka dots. And I'm going to use my new Rubens paints, I think. They're very, very, very pastel-y. But I put some white acrylic down to see if they'll be a little darker um, on that. So let's just see. This is one of my favorite greens. Hmm. They're metallic, but they're really pastel. And in order to get any kind of color, I'm going to have to go super watery. And I don't want to do that on here. So I am going to revert to my normal paint. And I think I will just use these Primas. My regular pink ones. Now I could put uh, this acrylic down, but I really don't want to. Where are my pink paints? Hmm. Let me regroup on the paint choice here, maybe. Let's just use these. Oh, I could use Amy. Oh, maybe we should use Amy because there's only four, five colors. Let's use these. These are kind of like Amy's art philosophy. Is that the same as Prima? I don't know. It might be the same as Amy's. Just a few more colors. Yeah. So I'm going to do lots of just splotches of color. And once that has dried, come back in. They used a lot of... Um, like animal shapes and their boomerangs in these things, in these dots, arts, but a lot of it was shapes. So I'm going to do that too. Some of these colors show up better than others. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, you know what? I wonder what these paints will do on this tempera, on this white paint. Let's try. Ooh. I'm leaving channels purposely. If you hear any noises, it's my husband making weird noises in the background. Talks to himself, makes weird noises. The joys of 
working at home together. These are really vibrant to be so cheap. He's banging his chair around. Bodie did not have a great night. Last night or the night before. Whew. Ah, that's purple. some blues. Here we go. No. Well, I guess you can't say these are um, natural colors, primitive colors. I wonder if Mark Twain had these colors in mind. Kind of doubt it. Mm. This is a really dark blue. Ooh, this is my favorite color of blue. What color is that? Dark teal. Love that color. Mm. Wait a second, I got a hole right there. Hmm. All right, we're going to let that dry. And I'll be back. Okay, look quick at this picture. That's what I am attempting to do. Not that exact picture, that technique. Lots of dots, animal shapes, their tools, their toys, um, just geometric shapes. I'm not really sure of the significance of all of that. Um, I'm attempting to draw a kangaroo. It's not bad. It's supposed to be primitive, so I'm in luck. I could probably do a tad bit of primitive. Um, in reality, this took about two hours. It's very cathartic. Oh, and water. It's very cathartic, and I know a lot of people do these dots in their actual creative journal spreads or altered art journals or anything. And there's lots of dots, and I don't know the meaning of the dots for the Aborigines, but Lord have mercy, I could not have done this. This was so tedious for me, um, trying to come up with different colors and trying to come up with now, granted, you, I could have stuck to a pattern. I could have stuck to a theme of colors, you know, da 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 da, da. I wanted to make it kind of sparkle and a page that stood out from others. Um, and I believe it stands out. <laughs> but it took me almost two hours to do this. I could never have done this in real life. 
like all these other people. I skipped some of the filming because it was just taking forever. And then I thought, well, okay. And I'm joining this. I don't know if they did this actually, but I'm joining the shapes with other shapes and just painting them in with dots over and 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 over. Some of the dots are kind of smeared. I got paint on my cover. It was quite problematic, but it's okay. You got to sacrifice for the art, right? Right. Anyhow, I, it, it, I wouldn't say it's tedious. Yes, I would say it's tedious, but it's also meditative at the same time. And I can see why people do these dots, but I, this one project, I'm through. I, I get it. Okay. I don't have to do this ever again. Ugh. Anyhow, it's it's done, and I attempted I attempted to stop several times because I was over this, but I, I followed through. I followed through for the I suffered for the art, suffered for the art. I ran out of paint colors, and actually went to acrylic because the watercolors were just not showing up, and I had gone through two Stabilo alls. No, 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 no. Um, what are the white pens? Uh, the gel pens, the white gel pen. I've gone through two of those because the paint was not quite dry. Pretty dry, but not quite. And I think I went through one of my um, fine tip black pens too. I suffered badly for this art. So I got out acrylics, Dina Wakeley's and Diane Reevely's art paints and uh, just used a um, paintbrush most of the time. Um, this is about where I gave up on the pens, I think. They were all starting to get that white pen right there. They were all starting to get um, messed up. So here's where I come in with a paintbrush. And I was like, just let's just. Oh, I was trying to leave room for a title and journal. And clean up my paint a little bit and, and then add more. I know. And I think they, the Aborigine people did this with sticks. And I'm trying to use a painted, a pointed paintbrush. So that was problematic too. Um, unless I loaded it up a lot, I was getting points instead of circles. So yeah, it was fun, but I'm glad it's over. And tomorrow we'll be back to vintage colors, probably. I don't know, I haven't read the chapter yet. But we're almost, we're day 20, which I think we're on chapter 22. So I either lost one or two days somewhere along the line. And one day we did an introduction. So I don't know where I lost, you know, a couple days here, but I did. I'm trying to put my paints away and dry stuff at the same time. Because I was really over it by now. <laughs> Anyhow, I whine, I whine, I digress, and I whine some more. And then I couldn't figure out how I was going to journal without smashing some of those damp dots. So I just did it on a little piece of paper and just wrote the same thing I've been telling you about shapes and animals and how they made their dots with sticks. And we call it a day. Then I was going to fill in that art with those other um, Rubens um, pastel um, things. And I said, nope, got out that other cheap set and it works just fine. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay smart, and stay kind, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.